Hello and welcome to SL Productions and my episode preview for Doctor Who Series 11 Episode 4, Arachnids in the UK. I hope I pronounced that right. So this episode airs this Sunday on BBC One and BBC One HD at the slightly later time of 7pm GMT. It is repeated the following Saturday at 2.30 in the morning with a sign language repeat, if you're interested. So yes, this episode will be written by Chris Chibnall on his own. And yeah, what is this episode going to be about? So the Doctor and her companions arrive back in Sheffield in the present day, but something is happening with the spiders in the city. I'm not sure what, but according to the next time trailer, something is happening with these spiders and they are killing people or injuring them. So what's happening to the spiders? Are they getting bigger? Are they becoming poisonous? Or are they becoming bigger and poisonous? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Why are the spiders there? I don't know. I have a theory that Tim Shaw may be behind the spiders. It's only a theory, so probably won't be true. But... Tim Shaw could have left the spiders over as a revenge for not being able to take Carl from the train back to his planet, maybe. I can see the Doctor at the end of this episode seeing Tim Shaw running up to him and Tim Shaw vanishing and then him appearing again in the finale. I do think it is very likely Tim Shaw or Crasco, who appeared in last night's episode, will appear again in the series as they've had a lot of references, such as Tim Shaw had a reference in... The Ghost Monument and Crasco is most likely the meddling monk. Maybe not, but I can see his character returning. Maybe in a Martin Luther King episode. For example, he might have got zapped to the future instead of the past and wants to stop Martin Luther King from doing his I am a dream speech to stop black equality. Maybe just a theory. So yeah, I think that is likely Crasco will return or Tim Shaw may return as well. In this episode, we will see the Khan family, so that's quite interesting. And yeah, guest stars look quite good for this episode. The scenery looks quite good. Haven't seen the monsters in full yet. I've only seen glimpses of them, so hopefully they'll be good CGI. Are they the giant spiders from Planet of the Spiders? I'm not sure. I'm hoping they'll be a reference to Planet of the Spiders, but that is quite unlikely. However, Series 11 has surprised me in making references back to past episodes of New Who and Classic Who, I thought that we were going to completely forget about the past of Doctor Who because people said that it wouldn't continue from the old series, so yeah, it has surprised me, Series 11. So, how many views will this episode get? The Ghost Monument got full viewing figures of 9 million and then last night's episode got overnight figures of 6.4 million, so that will likely go up to around 7.5 to 8 million once the seven night viewing figures come in and this episode will probably get overnight figures of around 6 million and probably get seven day viewing figures of around 7.5 to 8 million. So yeah, that is the end of this episode preview. Remember there's less than a week to vote in the Top 50 YouTubers 2018. Voting does close this Saturday at 23 hours 59 seconds, no 59 minutes and 59 seconds. There will be a bit of leeway, so don't worry. So yeah, please vote if you already haven't. Subscribe to my channel, and until the next time, goodbye. And yeah, before I go, I just want to respond to some of the negative reviews to last night's episode. So someone called it cringeworthy. Someone said, please put it down, meaning Doctor Who. Someone said, worst episode ever. But the strangest review was, this should be on CBBC. How could it be on CBBC? There were some words which were said in last night's episode, which I didn't expect to be in Doctor Who. There were racist words, but I'm glad they put them in there as it showed how bad the 1950s were for black people and Asian people. I just thought that was very good of Doctor Who to put them in there. So yeah, you couldn't really have words like that on purely children's TV. Well, anyway... There is a new Doctor Who spin-off kind of thing called Access All Areas. It's a bit like Doctor Who Confidential and Doctor Who Extra. However, it's only five minutes long. So yeah, please go and check that out. And also a big shout out to Alex Goddard, who recently hit 150 subscribers. Please go and check out his channel. Some fabulous Doctor Who reviews on there. And yeah, once again, until the next time, goodbye. Eat my salad. <laughs>